<laughs> I bought into the scam. Now, I say that to say all this. When I was younger, I really cared about fitting in. Part of fitting in is doing things that everybody else does. And it's basically going to the line, if your friend jumped off a bridge, well, would you? Well, the bridge is an analogy for other things. If your friend took the vaccine, would you? If your friend fucked her? Would you? If a friend did this, would you? Essentially, yes, I would. Why? Because I want to fit in with my friends. I want to be friends with them, but they're not really friends. But I say all that to say this yet again. I'm over dating. Like, <laughs> it's such a fucking gamble. I don't mean like, how do I explain this? I'm over the gamble of trying to understand if we can communicate clearly. So for the fact of the matter is, I can have just as much fun without you than I can with you. I'm going to have fun without you until... I die or until like it's as easy to have fun with you as it is to have fun without you to a point where it's like we could or we couldn't but I haven't reached that point with anybody so it's like fuck and then I just realized if I really sat back and thought about it, like there's no point in dating aside from finding that true deep love connection and I have a void inside of me that love is not gonna fill and that success is not gonna fill it's something i have to really dig deep and figure out what the fuck is wrong with me and i don't even want to do that so why the fuck would i give you all that trouble trying to figure out why am i act like this why am i act like that about this blah blah and i'm pretty transparent stuff like that and my biggest issue is i picked the wrong people so for the fact of the matter is i just might choose you because you like me and i don't even like me half times but because you like me sure let's see how well this goes and eventually we have some quarrels about how i act or how you act and we don't really want to discuss it we want to argue about it and uh, what's the point of the argument? It's just, uh, it's a gamble in my personal opinion. It's worth it if you got the right person, but I don't pick right people, so it's not worth it in my book. Do you boo-boos, but not me. Not me. Not me. And also, if I just wanted a girlfriend to have sex, I've had sex with way more people that I didn't date than I did with people I did date, so it doesn't really matter in my And then also sex workers with success, uh, with success. Yeah, honestly, there's a dollar amount in just about anything and everything. So aside from love, which is the one thing that you can't pay for, but some people think that they have it, but fuck it, whatever, do use. I can literally buy anything and everything that I would want that I can get from a dating. So to me personally, until I can actually find that real hardcore connection where we can just be so beautiful, it's almost ugly to others. I don't give a fuck. I'm not shooting my shot anymore. Like, I've just, I've just, it's been in my head, in the back of my head, in the front of my head, in the middle of my head. And I'm just like, it's pointless. It really is. It really is. But I believed it because I wanted to fit in so badly. And now I don't really care to fit in. It's like, all the beliefs that I believe just to fit in with everybody else, I'm kicking out the door too. I've learned this through pre previous experiences. If I, like, let's say, for instance, scenario is I made plans to do something with someone previous days before. So we made plans two days before, have plans to do something today. And it's not about the time quite yet, but it's getting up to the time yet. Somebody else asked me to do something else also on today. Pick option B because option A discreetly said no without telling me no, and I won't know until time has passed because they're not gonna hit me up i'm gonna hit them up to no responses and then we're gonna act like that didn't happen so pick option b because option a absolute ah obsoleted itself without letting you know so i'm taking this also to job experiences too i haven't been told no about the job i had interviews on but i'm also getting work so i'm assuming they're gonna tell me no they're just waiting until monday to tell me no but i already have jobs lined up so it's like Okay, I'm gonna still be working though. Baby, come back! You can play the all on me! I'm gonna help all those bitches before I go home. That's for sure. That was actually only plan today. Kick the soccer ball around. I'm on the bike, so y'all can leave me if you want to. I have no doubt I'm gonna catch up with no issue. He does realize I'm on a road bike and they're using a lag. 
Well, I'm using two. Two's better than one. There goes one. There goes two! There goes three. Do I take a left, right, where? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Those pointers for me to beat them. What? Okay. Chris, I've seen you trip over air. I don't trust you doing anything. Probably. I haven't checked out the video yet. All right, so post-basketball injuries. Jan my fucking, not middle finger, ring finger. I know what it is. Uh, got my eye jammed. I literally got injured by every single one of them. Nathan blew out my back like a porn star. Chris fucked up my knee like he was trying to get money from me. And then Casey stabbed out my eye like I was a freaking pirate. I wasn't ready for this shit. I didn't expect to come out here and get gangbanged. Like, everybody else got hurt aside from Nathan. Casey and Chris bashed each other's head. It's comedy. Get used to it. Chris and Casey bashed each other's heads together like they're doing sword fighting. Uh, Chris was on the ground less, so I guess technically speaking, Chris won. Uh, Casey got bitch slapped by Chris and I both on accident. We just... He's so oily, we just keep hitting his face on accident. And then Chris, I don't know what the fuck he did this clavicle, but he fucked that up with my knee, I think. And yet again, him and Casey sword fighting with their heads. But like, shit, this is so, oh, more black people, more, so injury. Yeah, damn, my fucking finger jammed like a motherfucker though. I did miss the perfect opportunity to push my YouTube. But that's not the point. It's not the point. We're not going to discuss that right now. Now what we're going to do is figure out our way home and not get hit by a car. Oh yeah, stop by soccer field. Do I have the energy to? Probably not. Are we still going to? If I can come across one. We're on Jefferson and Haley. I think it is. Oh, I think I know where it leads to. I think I do. I think I do. I think. Oh, still a pretty young day. I just wish I had, uh, would have charged my bricks. I don't need my phone. I just need it for me. Why are you still spinning when you say open? That makes no sense. Oh, yeah, but what part of life... Even the smallest points of life make sense. <laughs> so, that's enough time and energy spending on what matters, what doesn't matter, what adds up, what doesn't add up. As long as I can sleep happily knowing that there's nobody. No, there's still a bunch of people lying to me. As long as I go to sleep, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I... I don't even know how to explain that. So I'm just walking, as I tend to do when I have too much energy and don't want to fucking pass out. And some person was driving their van. And, like, I kind of saw it come up. But, like, I mind my own business. People mind their own business. That's how I expect it. You mind yours, I mind mine, okay? But, like, I could hear the commotion. I'm still like, this late at night, they're going to scream racist remarks. It's been a while since anybody's been racist towards me when I'm walking out in public during day or night. But, like, I, that was literally the first thought. And then I started listening even more because I took these out of my ears. I'd look, and they're trying to kill a bug. And I'm just over here laughing, like, kill it! Kill it! <laughs> just because 
don't know, it's weird. It's random. Some dude's walking, y'all having issues with bugs, and he's like, kill it, kill it. Comedy. Blank canvas. Yeah, I'm guilty too. When people describe things to me, I'm drawing up images, and I love the imagery until I actually get to see with my eyes. I'm like, oh. So, let me draw this depiction for you. They got thin lips, long hair. It's not really coarse hair. It's pretty straight like the vines, pretty straight like the rhymes. It's pretty straight. It's linear like time. They have this entitlement type of personality, expecting things to come at their feet. They enjoy life through a weird lenses if you ask me it seems like they don't deal with the same issues as others that don't look like them so they are did you paint the picture quite yet i love how they taught me to think like that too because if i said they had big lips and sagged their pants then yep we'd be thinking the same if you were taught like me and i keep having to and i gotta keep scrubbing my brain because they Washed my brain so filthy with their hands, so filthy with their words, so filthy with their lies. I believed it too. The greatest country. Huh? Really? I used to, when they indoctrinated me, taught me all the things that I would need to succeed in a factory. Never to be the boss, never to lead, just working till the day I die. Boss, I love it here. Thank you for the pizza. Thank you for the extra your time thank you for the extra hours i really need thank you for allowing me to work till i can never work again thank you for never covering anything thank you for giving me the opportunity to not even make you rich because you're working for somebody too thank you for the chance to be your slave and to be under your reins forever thank you for the chance to exist in this world where you control it and I'm only just, I'm just a blank canvas for you to make whatever you want of me. My time isn't mine if I am not aware of my, my mind and my energy. If you're the puppet master and I'm just a puppet that doesn't realize I have strings that come through, through TV, through sports, through cars, through all the luxuries that I thought I wanted. Nah, this was pre-programmed from the start because I used to watch that glowing box or I used to read the rectangle that was written so long before the men have told stories about this man that doesn't even look like me and I believed it too even though he was always in the sun but he looked like the photo negatives like my teeth that's what they force fed me to believe and I believed like the rest of the sheep ready for the slaughter Blank canvas. Yeah. Oh. Eh, do they wish they could stop me? I am gluttony. There is no filling the bottomless void of me. I can eat until eternity. I can eat till time runs out. I don't care. Everything's a treat to me. You better treat me. I will devour your energy. I will devour your time. I will devour your money. You thought this was infinite. No. Everything dies eventually aside from me. I am gluttony. I don't care. I will devour everything in sight. I will devour everything in mind. I will devour every single person's mind and time. Your money, that's not yours. That's mine after some time. I I told you to buy it now, now, more, more, and don't you dare sell. Give it away, no. A price. I gotta get theirs, too. And after theirs, I'm kidding. Uh, this is the third time this week. I've seen them cycle through. Same outfit. Yep. Orange bike. Blue helmet. Green pants. Red jacket. Yep. Orange bike. Green helmet. Red pants. Orange jacket. Yep. Blue hat. Green bike. Orange jacket. Green. What was he really wearing? I don't know. They keep recycling the show to me, though. I do notice the differences, but I don't know how to point it out. I think they think I'm crazy. Just because I don't feel the 
need to do what they tell me to. I don't follow the flow of the river. I'm actually fighting it. And that's why they say I'm drowning. That's why they say I'm suffering. They say, follow me. But why? I didn't agree to be here, but now that I have a mind that thinks differently from others, I thought I could do something outside of the lines. Do I have to walk in these lines? I don't I don't think I like these. I want to extend these. I want to turn these. Why can't uh, why can't I control my lines? Does nobody else question about theirs too? Or is my mind just different than yours? Is that why they call me weird? Is that why they call me crazy? Is it because I question things overly? Like, yes, just answer me. Is it really that hard to just blurt it out? If it's that simple, just say it. Why not? Oh, because it's nefarious. You want me to be controlled. You don't want me to ask any questions. You just want me to obey and go. But I don't want to. I really want to know. What are these lines for? What if I cross them? What if I cross them out? What if I don't even consider them? I just continue to go through it. Oh, that's what happens when I cross these lines. It's all you had to do is tell me, and I would have had the answer locked in my mind. But since you don't even spend the time, I fucked around and found out. Hmm. Every line is different, though. But what are these lines for? Why are they stronger than me? Why are they faster than me? Why are they smarter than me? Why are they better than me? Why do I believe that any of this matters to me? I was forced to think and criticize other people, but when it comes to me, no, I can't see any dangers in me. No, I am a thousand percent greed, not a single red sign on me. I am perfect as can be, but why are they smarter than me? Why are they stronger than me? Why are they faster than me? Why are they better than me? They're not really or possibly, personally, I would agree to some of them being a little bit better than me in certain aspects, but not in everything. We all have a specialty in what we do, and some people are specialer in that than you, but at the same time, what makes you you is the different way that you do the exact same things other people do, but you add a spin that others can't. And even if they try to, it's still a better value coming from you. It's just, do you know what it is? It's not judging.